Hey guys, welcome to another studio tour. I am Felicia Fong. If you haven't seen my channel yet, I do a lot of art based on travel and culture and the mixing of different cultures. And today I'm going to show you a little bit about my studio. These are some postcards that I made. These are the only three I have left. This one I never even finished, so they're they're old. I sold probably a hundred of them last over the last year, and so I'm out. I'm remaking them. I'm just going to show you a little bit of my process for the studio tour. I've got a bunch going on, so it'll maybe be interesting for you. We'll see. I think you'll enjoy it. But um, these are ones that I'll eventually cut up, and I've been uh, just doing backgrounds on them. And these are all old newspaper that I've painted on and stuck together using uh, old house paint and acrylic paints. And uh, I worked with adults with disabilities for a while. And so when they would have paint left over, I'd just like dump it onto a newspaper. Or, like they'd use newspaper to clean it up. And so I have, uh, most of these are not from that. I, don't, I only have like one or two sheets from that. But most of these are from when I did an art class. We were playing with experimental forms of paper making. And this is what I did. And I made tons of these. So I've got a bunch to work with. But they're really super simple. And for the postcard size, you can I've cut several, but I'm going to show you guys how I lay them out. Uh, an opened up sheet of newspaper is about four postcards wide. And then, I don't know how many deep. Uh, so about five deep, it looks like. So four by five, so there's about 20, uh, 20 different postcards on a sheet of newspaper. And there's several layers of newspaper stuck together. But it's one way to use up your old acrylic paint is when you have some left over just like take 30 seconds take a brush and like brush it all over newspaper and then you can save that newspaper and keep using it uh that's, i i like upcycling so that's where that comes from all right so you, here you can see i have some like uh flyers and that type of thing these are leftovers from compassion sunday i was really sad to like have to throw them away so i'm hoping to use some of the images and some of the text from them so i think they're on. Yeah, I didn't want to throw them away. I was really sad that there was nothing to do with the extras we had left over. And what I did with these was I took the stamps and I stamped. And this is a good example of what the different things look like. And so I did an orangish color here on the normal stamp. And then these ones I took red and I like flipped it over and then did that with it. So I had to use both like the, the stamp through and then like the leftover paint and use that too. Uh, same thing with this. I used the uh, same two techniques. And it's just like a I don't even know what it is. I have a bunch of it left over from somewhere, and I use it for stamp making. And so the next couple steps I'll do, I'm going to cut out... So some of the paper, I did textures on top of the original newspaper backgrounds. So I did that with a bunch of them, but I'll also take this paper and just cut it out without adding more layers to it, and I'll do stuff like this on those. And I don't quite know what I'll end up with on here yet. Probably black or another color. I may make a stencil to do hearts or something on some of these as well. But we'll see. I'm not quite sure where they'll go, but I'm going to cut out a bunch and design them. And I sold so many last year that I'm going to try to make a whole bunch because they, they they sold out quick. I sold them for like uh, 2 to $3. I think two for most of them. Maybe a couple larger ones were three. But they're, they're postcards and I'm not too worried about it. But I'm hoping I can make a bunch and we'll see how they go this year. I probably won't have them up online, guys. So, uh, just because I don't think it'd be worth having an Etsy shop. I'd have to raise the prices and then send them and all of that. So, if you want them, message me and I can send you maybe a pack of 10. Maybe I will put like 10 packs up on Etsy. I don't know yet. But message me if you want some and I can make you some for those. And I probably won't do a whole lot that are special order. I'll maybe give you the option of like hearts or women or something like that. But they'll be... I'm not going to do individual ones to order. I'm pretty sure. So, thanks, guys. And uh, thanks for checking out my studio space. I hope you enjoyed the studio tour. And I will show you what they look like in another video when I get a little bit farther. Thanks, guys.